Okay, so this is my Bay Runner. It's a, uh, it's one of the later models than the last ones I think they made. Um, it's, uh, the insulated, it's the BR-1000i. Right now I have, uh, the bottom trim taken off because it was just really badly damaged in some spots. You can see, like, it was just really beat up and corroded all the insides and uh, all the screws were really bad stripped pretty much none of them backed out i had to like forcefully take them all out so i ordered a new one from eagle claw um i remember if it, it was like 20 bucks or something cheap it came with all the replacement screws which i don't think i'm going to use i have a different kind of screws that i'm going to use it came with these little guys right here and they just don't really have much of a head on them so I have some of these same kind of screws. They're like self-tappers. Uh, but these ones have a fatter head, which I just feel like will hold the fabric a little bit better. Uh, I took this one off and I washed it. But I don't know if I'm going to um, keep this one on there. I'm going to call in the morning and see if uh, I can buy a new outer fabric for it. And then this one's got a few holes I'm going to have patched up. And um, I'll sew this one up. And uh, keep it as a backup. So, moving on, we got, uh, I saw from another video, the uh, foldable shelf bracket mount with the, uh, like, Rat Pack, I believe is what they are, like, quad auger mounts. Both of these were on Amazon. I believe the shelf bracket was, like, $12. These were, like, 20 or something like that. Um, this is the Strike Master uh auger and you see it just sits right on there straps on um the, the gentleman's video that i saw he takes these off each time i'm not gonna do that i'm actually in the process of finding some older skis and i'm gonna do the coffee table uh ski mount on this just to save the tub i plan on using this for a long time so uh i'm gonna have this on some a little smitty sled with like adjustable uh so it will fold down and I can raise it up a little bit when I'm pulling it. Uh, so I went on their website and bought a few replacement things like that window right there. I have the insulated cover for it. That's obviously not the insulated one. That's just the extra one I bought. They sell the non-insulated ones. Like you can see the quilted fabric on this one and then and that one's the smooth one. I was just screwing around with it. I wanted to see what it looked like on there. Um, but yeah, so I ordered two more replacement poles which i plan on just using to help uh when it's real windy but i'm actually going to order two more and uh like when i'm out i plan on fishing saginaw bay with this so when i'm out i'm gonna have one here one down here one up top one down here because it seems like this was kind of folding in on itself the guy, the guy that i bought this from really didn't take that great care of it not gonna lie it was in pretty rough shape that's what started me tearing the whole thing down. And then I just went from there. Um, but so then, yeah, coming to the inside, I kept the original bench. And uh, I got this this chair. So it slides on the original tray. If you do it nice and even, it does. It slides on the original bar, just like normal, because I've got it mounted to the original thing it normally comes on. So there's that. And then this comes with a swivel uh, base, um, like a circular piece. It's actually right here. It comes on this. Uh, I guess I got rid of it. It comes on a little base. It's meant to sit on the ground, but you can easily take that off. And uh, so I did, took the seat off, took it off the base. And then I knew mounting it on here was gonna be tricky. So I was going to put it on two by fours, essentially at first, like, or one visor, something that I could slide it this way on here and still kind of maybe if I wanted to use this as a two manner, even though I plan on this just being my one manner. But then the more I thought, I thought about it, I've already got a clam flip over and I'll make a video on that one day, but that'll be my double manner. And I really only bought this in the first place for a single manner. So I took the, the mounting bracket off the bottom kind of laid it out got it centered in this bench and then uh mounting mounting that bracket to this was easy but 
if you have a two manner, you know it's the same style seats as like the uh, otters and the um, clams, where it has like that swivel base that and the two square bases. You're not gonna be able to see it under there very well. So what I had to do was mount the base, and then I drilled down through the top holes into the bottom. And there's Allens that mount the bracket to the seat. So I would lift up on the fabric, stick an Allen through the bottom, see it. And that's how line it up with the holes that are in the bottom of the frame and then screw it from the base that's screwed into this bench onto here. Like I said, I was gonna do that platform that slid back and forth, but this right now is perfect where my legs come down 90, they sit on the floor. As soon as I raised it up a little bit, my feet didn't sit exactly flat, which bothered the shit out of me. So I got rid of that idea and just dedicated this to, now it's 100% in one manner. But the seat's cool. It's the, it's like a high back chair. So when you lean back, your half your back isn't off. Like my head's literally just barely above this thing. But it's cool because it reclines, locks in whatever position you want. Folds down flat for pack up. Um, still, this thing sticks up a little bit. But if you know about the bay runners, these poles all come out. This side flips down, this side flips down, poles sit in the base. So, I mean, it's just gonna be like any other, there's the fabric will sit up a little bit higher over the chair, which I'm fine with. You just slide this forward a little bit and allow the poles to come flat along the back. No big deal. I'm fine with that. Uh, that's how my two manner is anyway. It's usually loaded up. I don't have a cover for this yet, but I'm gonna get one. I think I saw, I've got the Yukon. I gotta take it out of the back of my truck. I'm going to see if that tarp fits over this. If it does, I'm just going to get another one of those or one of the ice team ones and with like the adjustable straps up top. And that's just what I'll use. Um, now moving forward, I got, when I got it, it had a hole in it in the tub. So I replaced that plastic welded it, put in mesh, um, and used those little like plastic welding staples that you can kind of get. I put all that down. And then in these ridges, I got, uh, I think it was either half inch or three quarter inch insulating foam cut cut them to the width of these inside pieces it came down just barely below the top uh and it was sticky on one side so i rolled it out got it all uh cut peeled it off stuck it to the bottom and then i got this insulating like hvac tape ran it over that just to insulate the bottom a little bit and then i got this mat and cut it to size from home depot um just to help keep the uh the cold out from the ice uh i have little replacement d-rings that are coming in for these two hooks somebody mentioned that on one of the facebook groups i'm in that i should swap those out and uh so i did i got those coming this thing was busted on the back so i had to use a bolt nut and two washers to replace that one i'm guessing that eventually some of these other ones will be an issue so i plan on kind of nipping that in the bud and taking care of all those um and then i guess the coolest part is the front console so uh with this like the bay runner normally comes with this and a, that basically this exact same thing in the front i've actually got that over here as well don't mind the garage i'm literally just getting this done so it's a mess but that bar is what normally comes on the front and same thing, I kind of took this this from another video, the idea anyhow. But uh, I took that out since I already had this thing stripped all the way down with getting the new fabric and the new piece around the bottom. And I figured it was a good time just to get everything done all at once. So this is a five inch gap. This is a 10 inch gap, eight inches deep. Um, or maybe it's, ah, fuck, I can't remember. This is a five inch gap. This is uh, an eight by eight. Eight tall, eight deep, or seven and a half deep, rather. Sorry. And uh, yeah, then I went and got the plexiglass cut. Uh, the plexiglass is just held down by these little screen screws. So when we're actually moving, what the fuck? So when we're actually moving, uh, I can leave whatever I've got in there. And these just kind of help it from rolling out. And that was the whole reason I got the Bay Runner is uh, fishing and leaving all my uh, electronics and stuff up, ready to go. And uh, not having to tear down every time, which a flip over doesn't take a, a ton of time, I guess. 
but it's still way nicer to just have this left flipped up some of your stuff on it that's kind of the other reason that i got the reinforcing poles i got the two more that are coming and maybe out of pvc or something i'll run some spreaders in there i'm not really going to get that involved in it we'll see if it's an issue or not i haven't even taken this out yet i just got it done um and then i got one of these little face plates that i have wired up to my power box but i've got a dakota lithium uh 18 or it's a 12 volt 18 amp hour battery that fits i made this pocket just big enough to fit that battery back here run everything i've got the lights up here ran to the one switch because you don't really always need the lights those are the hog outdoor lights um i've got those in my flip over too i have uh, i had my flip over first ran those lights in that really liked them so the dimmer is like right above the light switch right there if you can kind of see so i don't know i like these lights they're cheap they work they're waterproof never had an issue with them so i figured i'd keep using them um and then these blue leds i've got some underneath just to shine a little light underneath um let's see a better one it's not all lit up and then i got one bar underneath here one bar in that pocket one bar in this pocket i think those were those were dirt cheap they were like 12 dollars or some shit on amazon real cheap but yeah that's kind of the cool you're gonna be staring at that so it's a static got the dumb little stickers and shit all over it something to look at i guess hold all my shit in there have all my boxes and all my lures on one side um i've got my i don't know if i'm gonna bring that out every time especially having that uh battery that's gonna be in there so i'll probably have like my finder and then i've got an aqua view um one of those micro five c's or whatever that'll be hanging out here and i'm not gonna lie i uh i have an ipad that i usually just have front and center especially like in my flip over like i said i haven't really fished in this but that was part of the plan with having this uh raised up deck right here so watching football or hockey or whatever and fishing should be sweet this is the shack though kind of cool